let's just take a minute here to check in and notice what we are feeling today. It has been um, kind of a tough week for some of us, depending on where you're living. So let's just check in. We're not pushing it away and we're not engaging with it. We just want to notice and acknowledge what is there. And then let's notice where we are connected to the earth. Notice the earth beneath you. Notice the touch points of your body on the earth. Noticing what you feel in your body today. Again, just notice. No judgment here, no pushing things away. You know, engaging with what's going on, but being aware of where you are starting your practice today without judgment. And then noticing your breath. the quality of your breath like today? Is it shallow or deep? Quick or slow? Where do you feel your breath the most in your body? So today we're going to use our breath to kind of help move things along. Uh, the good thing is everybody's muted. So I'm the only one who's going to sound ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> so, <clears throat> excuse me. We're going to take a deep breath in. So everyone take a deep breath in. And then as you let it out, use some noise. <sighs> a few more times here. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And make noise as you let it out. Ah. So continue doing this at your own pace. And as you let out your breath, maybe you let out anything that's there, anything that feels stuck, any thoughts that are going through your mind that you don't need during our practice or in your life, any kind of emotion that you may be feeling that you don't need. So we use sound to help us move things through, move feelings through. If you've come to Yoga for Grief, we've done this in Yoga for Grief. Okay, let's do two more. Deep inhale. <sighs> Last one. And then once that's complete for you, just come back to your natural rhythm of breathing. Notice what you feel in your body. So first card here, um, we are doing the power of surrender card. So surrender and letting go. 
I laugh because I pulled this one earlier for myself this week. <clears throat> Surrender to success. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. Or maybe that'll resonate with you. And if not, just allow the words to pass on. All right. So we'll make some small movements here in fingers and toes, rolling around wrists and ankles. <clears throat> Excuse me. Perhaps you take a big stretch here. And then hugging both knees in towards your chest, perhaps rocking from side to side or maybe making circles with your knees. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So from here, let's bring both feet to the earth. The knees are bent. Uh, feet are hip distance apart, arms come down by your side. So just a little bit of a warm up here for the spine. Let's find moving bridges here. So pushing your feet into the earth, lift your hips. Ooh, maybe if you want, lift your arms. My arms are already going. And then exhale, hips come down towards the earth, arms come down towards the earth. If you wish, arms can stay on the earth. The body's just rushing into what it already knows is going to happen. <laughs> so as you come up into your bridge pose, squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your glutes. And we want to be mindful of the neck here. We want a long line in the neck. So looking up at the sky, trying not to crunch the chin in towards the chest. I'm just going to find a couple more here. Let's do one more. Hands come down by your sides. And then walking your feet about mat distance apart and winch away, bring your knees from side to side. So we do this to release any tension that's happening in the low back. Sometimes what we want to do is automatically hug our knees in to stretch out the low back, but that can cause um, issues, more issues then it is helpful if we have any kind of low back issues. Lots of issues. All right, so let's now hug both knees in, rocking from side to side. Perhaps, again, maybe you make circles here with the knees. So let's place our feet back down towards the earth. Hugging the right knee in towards the chest, activating the right foot, softening your shoulders. And if you wish, extending the left leg long on the earth. Notice where it feels best to send that right knee, maybe in towards the chest or more towards the right armpit. And then whenever you're ready, releasing the right foot down towards the earth, hugging the left knee in, activating the left foot. Perhaps the right leg comes long. Where does it feel best to send that knee? And then releasing the left foot to the earth. Place both feet on the earth. Once again, knees are bent. And let's find a 
happy baby. So feet coming up towards the sky, knees are bent. Uh, knees come out towards the side, grabbing a hold of either the backs of the thighs, maybe the lower leg somewhere or somewhere on the feet. And then softening your shoulders. Find movement that feels right for you here. Or maybe you stay still. Taking deep inhales in through your nose and long, slow exhales out. All right, let's release the feet down towards the earth. And then Excuse me, rolling over to one side, whichever side is calling for you. And slowly making your way up to feed it. All right. From seated, we're going to come right into a seated wide legged forward fold. So feet are going to come out towards the side as far as you feel comfortable. Um, you're going to activate both feet so slightly curl back the toes. This is to protect the knees. So a couple of things here. When we come into this movement, if you feel like you are rounding as you are seated rather than being nice and tall and being able to hinge forward from the hips, feel free to grab maybe a folded blanket or a block might be difficult, but a folded blanket or towel to place underneath your hips. Also, as we come forward, if there's issues along the backs of your legs, if you're feeling tightness behind the knees, maybe you grab blocks or fold blankets to place underneath the knees. All right, so feet are active. I hear we do a little bit of movement with this first. So let's bring the arms out in front. And then we're gonna make circles here in the body. So kind of like you're stirring a giant pot. Keeping the feet active. All right, and going in the opposite direction. And coming back to center. Find length here in your spine, crown of the head reaches high, and then hinging from the hips coming forward, but only as far as you feel comfortable. Taking deep inhales, long, slow exhale. Mm -hmm. Our next surrender card is surrender unhealthy relationships. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. All right, one more round of breath here. And then slowly walking your hands back up. We are going to find a seated figure four. So legs come out long in front and we're gonna hug the right knee in, activating the right foot and then placing the right ankle across the left thigh. Hands come behind you to support you. Try to keep a nice straight spine and then slowly bringing that left foot to the earth, 
if you need to walk the hands back in order to do so, feel free to. And the closer you bring that foot in, the left foot in, the more of a stretch you'll feel along the back of the right leg. Right foot stays active. Two more rounds of breath. And then once that's complete for you, allowing the left foot to walk out, uncrossing the right leg, maybe give your legs a shake. I have a, a reason for all this. All right, let's hug the left knee in. Crossing the left ankle over the right thigh. Left foot is active. Hands come behind you, find length in your spine, drawing the right foot to the earth. Left foot stays active. With every inhale, maybe you lengthen your spine. With every exhale, perhaps you imagine sending that left knee down closer towards the front of your mat. One more round of breath. And then slowly walking the right foot out and crossing the leg, give them a shake. All right, a reverse table. In our reverse table, you're, I'm gonna give you options for what feels best for you in your wrists and in your hands. So normally what we say is fingertips pointing towards the front of the mat, but if that feels awful for you, then feel free to turn your hands out towards the side, okay? So feet are gonna come about hip distance apart, somewhat close to your hips. Let's roll the shoulders back and down the spine, push into the feet, lift the hips. Squeeze the inner thighs. Send the hips up towards the sky. Two more rounds of breath here. And then exhale to lower. Maybe you find some shoulder rolls here to release the shoulders. All right, here we go. If you wish, you can find a reverse table once again, or we're gonna find a three-legged table, hugging the right knee in, crossing the right ankle over the left thigh, drawing the left foot to the earth, hands come behind you, Shoulders roll back and down your spine, push into the left foot to lift. Two more rounds of breath. And then gently lowering the hips to the earth. All right, we're gonna come down. So keep the cross in your legs. If you haven't, if you don't have the cross in your legs, find it when you come down. So down onto your back, right ankles over the left thigh. All right, so three-pointed bridge, not three-limbed, three-pointed bridge. So we're going to push the left foot into the earth, lift the hips, keep the right foot active. If this is too much for you, just find a bridge, both feet on the earth. And then gently releasing the hips down towards the earth. You're gonna come up to seated. How do, do you wish to do it? Do you wish to roll over to one side or maybe keep the legs crossed, rock back up to seated? We'll uncross the legs. All right, so again, reverse table or maybe three-legged table, this time hugging the left knee in, activate the left foot as you cross it over the right leg. 
right foot comes to the earth, pushing the feet or the foot <laughs> into the earth, lift the hips, squeeze the inner thighs, squeeze the glutes. Slowly lowering the hips down towards the earth. And then let's make our way down onto our backs. Crossing left ankle over right thigh if you haven't already. Or maybe you're gonna find two feet on the earth for your bridge. Pushing into the right foot, squeeze the glutes, lift the hips. Gently lowering the hips down towards the earth. Making your way up to seated, how would you like to do it? All right, and then uncrossing your legs. Let's give them a good shake. Amazing, all right, tabletop pose. So wrists come underneath your shoulders, knees come underneath your hips. Um, let's find some C shapes here. So allowing your hips to come out towards the right side, looking over your right shoulder towards your hips. Find length here along the left side of your body, along the left ribs. And then inhale back to center and exhale over to the other side. Inhaling to center, exhaling to the other side. So just moving at your own pace with your own breath. One more time in each direction. And then coming back to center. So just a reminder to grip your fingers into the earth. Imagine there's a little ladybug underneath your hands. So you wanna kind of cup your hands on the earth. You don't wanna squeeze or squish the ladybug. All right, so let's curl the toes under, send the hips back and up behind you, downward dog as much of a bend in your knees as you need so there's no discomfort in the backs of your thighs, in your low back. Unshrugging your shoulders and unlocking your elbows. Maybe you walk your dog. All right, let's shift our weight forward into plank pose. So your choice, knees can be down or up. Draw the navel in. Push away from the earth. Perhaps you try to find a little bit of challenge in your plank pose today. All right, wherever you are, shifting your weight forward a little bit. Drop the knees if you haven't already. Tuck the elbows, come down to the earth. Let's find a baby cobra. Shoulders roll back and down the spine. Tops of the feet push down towards the earth. Tuck the elbows, lift the heart. Looking down at the earth. Two more rounds of breath here. And then either reverse push up or tabletop, downward facing dog. Right foot reaches up towards the sky, shifting your weight forward, sending the right foot through. Left knee comes down towards the earth. So low lunge here, right knees over the ankle in line with the second or third toe. Squeeze the inner thighs, allow the arms to reach up towards the sky. Two more rounds of breath here. And then allowing the hands to come down towards the earth. 
left hand underneath the left shoulder, right hand reaches up towards the sky. So it's up to you, maybe the left knee stays on the earth or maybe you curl the toes of the back foot under, lift the knee. Let's drop the right knee down, or sorry, left knee down towards the earth. Don't drop the right knee. Let's walk the hands back, straightening the front leg. Feel free to use blocks if you need to bring the earth up a little closer to you. So we're gonna activate the right foot. Find length in your spine. Perhaps you hinge from the hips and pull towards that front leg. Keeping the right foot active, allowing the toes of your right foot to drop over towards the right side of the mat. Toes come back up to center, right foot still active, walking the hands forward. All right, we're gonna come into a horizon lunge. I'm gonna spin around so you can see me better. So in a horizon lunge, we're gonna walk the right foot over towards the right side, turning the toes out towards the right side. Okay, so you're gonna have a choice here. You can either keep the knee down on the earth or you're gonna pop up onto your back toes. Left knee comes up off the earth. Wherever you are, right hand reaches up towards the sky. If you're up on your back toes, you're gonna to spin your back foot so that you're coming onto the pinky toe edge of your foot. And then we're all gonna reach back. If you want a little bit more stretch here along the left side of the body, if you're uh, in with knee up off the earth, you're gonna drop that left hip down. Keeping the right foot active. If you're on your knee, that's where you need to be. All right, let's come back here, activating both feet, walking the hands forward, come into tabletop, into child's pose. And a couple rounds of breath here. Surrender to trust. Trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. Making your way back into a tabletop pose. Curling your toes under, sending your hips back and up behind you, downward dog. Shoulders roll back and down the spine. Let's shift our weight forward into our plank pose. What variation of a plank do you need today? Michelle's thinking, why did I pick that card? <laughs> All right, shift your weight forward a little bit, knees to the earth, tuck the elbows, chest and chin come down. So maybe it's baby cobra, maybe it's sphinx pose, forearms to the earth, elbows under the shoulders, or if you're ready for it, full cobra, hands by your ribs. Wherever you are, shoulders roll back and down the spine. Tops of the feet push down towards the earth. Either reverse push up or tabletop. Downward dog. 
All right, let's see if I can remember all this on the other side. The left foot reaches up towards the sky. Shifting your weight forward, stepping the left foot through, drop the right knee to the earth. Left knee over left ankle, squeeze the inner thighs. Allow the arms to rise. Take a couple rounds of breath here. All right, hands come down to the earth. Right hand comes underneath the right shoulder. Find length in your spine as you turn to the left. Maybe the left hand reaches up high. Hand down, twist. Again, option here to curl the back toes, lift the back knee. Let's drop that right knee to the earth if it's up, hands come down. If you need to use blocks, feel free to grab them. We're gonna walk our hands back, extending the left leg, keeping the left foot active. What do you need here? Do you need to come up if it's too much or maybe you're up on block? Or do you need to find length in your spine and from the hips and fold? Left foot stays active and then allowing the toes of the left foot to drop out towards the left side. Allowing the toes of the left foot to come back to center, keep the foot active, and then slowly walking your hands forward. All right, our horizon lunge on this side. So we'll walk the left foot over towards the left side, toes point out towards the sides. So you have a choice, you can keep that back knee down or lift the back knee. Right hand's underneath the right shoulder. Left hand reaches up towards the sky or in front of you. If you're up on the back toes, pivot onto the pinky toe side of that foot. All of us reach the left hand back towards the back of the mat, if you can, if it's comfortable. And then if you wish, if you're up on the back toes, dropping that right hip down towards the earth, try not to shrug into the right shoulder. Lots of options here. Take the one that feels right for you in your body. All right, let's windmill that left hand back towards the earth, towards the front of the mat. We'll all come gently into tabletop, into child's pose. Taking deep inhales. Long, slow exhale. <laughs> All right, also another card that came up for me this week. Surrender your fear of change. The, re <laughs> the universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you are afraid of change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. Again, you take what resonates with you from these cards and then leave the rest behind. All right, let's find two more rounds of breath. And then making your way into your tabletop. Curling your toes under, downward dog.
coming into a forward fold, maybe it's walking the feet forward or however it feels comfortable for you, forward fold near the top of your mat. So as much of a bend in your knees as you need, softening the upper body. From here, if it's comfortable for you, maybe clasping your hands behind your low back. Shoulders roll back and down the spine, sending the hands up towards the sky. Release any tension that you may feel in your neck. And of course, if you wish to take a different arm variation, you certainly can, it's your practice. All right, let's release the hands back down towards the earth. And we'll come into halfway lift. Hands come to shins or thighs, flat back here. Crown of your head reaches towards the front of the mat. Find equal weight in the four corners of your feet. We're gonna come back into a chair pose. So sending the hips back behind you, slight tuck of your tailbone. Shoulders roll back and down the spine. And exhale to forward fold. Inhale, arms come out to the side. Reverse swan dive up, extended mountain. Shoulders roll back and down the spine. And exhale, hands come to heart center. All right, our eagle pose. If you need a wall for balance, feel free to come to a wall. We're just going to do eagle without um, adding anything fancy to it today. All right, so we'll start in our mountain pose. Feet are hip distance apart. Shoulders roll back and down the spine. Squeezing the inner thighs. All right, let's come back into a chair pose. Send the hips back. Tailbone comes down slightly. From here, right knee crosses over the left. I always get the arms wrong, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> right arm comes out in front, left arm comes over top. If you have shoulder issues, hands are going to come to your uh, shoulders. If not, then maybe you wrap your hands so that the backs of the hands come together. Maybe hands clasp together. Soften the shoulders. Elbows come to shoulder height, hands come away from your face. <laughs> Find your balance. If you want a little bit of challenge here today, I don't know if I can do it today, we'll see. You're gonna find a little bit of a crunch to draw the navel in. Send the elbows down towards the knees. Slowly making your way back up if you're in that crunch. Let's release the arms, release the legs, get them a big shake or a little shake. All right, other side, feet are hip distance apart. Send the hips back, find your chair pose. Send the tailbone down, soften the shoulders. Feel free to use a wall if you're near one. Left knee crosses over the right. Left arm comes out, right arm over top. Maybe hands come to shoulders or maybe backs of hands come together. We're wrapping the hands together. Soften the shoulders, elbows to shoulder height, hands away from the feet. If you want, you can find that crunch, draw the navel in, round the spine, send the elbows towards the knees. Again, okay, lots of options. You could just be an eagle leg using the wall for balance.
through and I cry and slowly come back up. Ooh, ooh. Release the arms, release the legs, give them a shake. All right, two more poses. Find your way towards the top of your mat. Funny mountain pose, squeeze the inner thighs. Shoulders roll back and down the spine. Inhale, arms reach up towards the sky, extended mountain. Exhale, flat back, swan diving down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. And exhale to fold. Let's step the left foot back. And we're gonna spin the left foot so it comes parallel to the back of the mat. Front heel intersects with the middle of the back foot. Windmilling your arms up, warrior two. So hips are squared towards the, the long edge of the mat. All right, so looking over the front arm, soften the shoulders. All right, we're gonna find a side angle, with one of our cards. So right forearm comes to the right thigh. Left arm reaches up, maybe over towards the front of the mat, rolling that top shoulder back and down the spine. Try not to collapse in on the right arm. So bending into that front knee, and then you have options depending on what feels good for you and your body. Maybe the right hand comes down to a block or the earth. And a couple rounds of breath here. We're gonna be holding here for a few breaths. If it's in your body, maybe you find a bind. Right arm comes underneath, send the palm back behind you. Fingers reach towards the low back. Left hand comes behind, perhaps you clasp fingers rotate the rib cage open towards the sky. Lots of options. Two more rounds of breath. Releasing the arms wherever they are. Windmill your arms back to warrior two. Hands windmill down to frame the front foot, come up on the back toes, step back into your plank. Oh, the good old plank. Push the hands into the earth. Push the earth away from you. Grip your fingers, draw the navel in. Okay, shifting your weight forward wherever you are, knees to the earth, tuck the elbows, come down. All right, we're gonna come into locust pose. And then don't worry, I won't forget the other side. Uh, so let's bring the hands back behind, palms down towards the earth. Tops of the feet push down to the earth. So you're only gonna go as far as you feel comfortable. You wanna look down at the earth, keeping length in your neck, and then lifting the heart. Perhaps you lift the arms, Squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other. Perhaps you point the toes, squeeze the inner thighs, lift the legs. Find your breath. Two more rounds of breath. And then gently lower to the earth. Perhaps you use your hands as a pillow, bending the knees, windshield wipering the feet from side to side. All right, so reverse push up or tabletop, downward dog. Walking both feet towards the front of your mat or however you need to get there, forward fold. Halfway lift, hands to shins or thighs, flat back. Draw the navel in, crown of the head reaches towards the front of your mat. 
and exhale to fold. Taking a big step back here with the right foot. Right foot comes parallel to the back of the mat. Front heel intersects with the middle of the back foot. Windmilling the arms up, Ooh, warrior two. Hips are squared towards the long edge of the mat. Checking to make sure the front knee is over the ankle in line with the second or third toe. Softening the shoulders. Working over the front hand. All right, so side angle, left forearm to left thigh. Right hand reaches up towards the sky, perhaps towards the front of your mat. Still bending into that front knee. So we wanna um, try to rotate the rib cage open. So one way we can do that by trying to figure out how to do it in our brains is to take the right hand underneath towards the left side of the rib cage and use that hand to open your rib cage. So to roll it open towards the sky. Then right hand comes back over. Whew, and your option here, you can stay here. You can bring the left hand down to a block of the earth. Perhaps you find your bind on this side. Whatever you find, rotating the rib cage up towards the sky. Or at least imagine that's what you're doing. Two more rounds of breath. Releasing the arms after those two rounds come back into warrior two. Hands windmill down towards the front of the mat. Step back into your plank pose. Last one, I promise. <laughs> Shifting your weight forward, coming down. All right, we're gonna find locust pose one more time. Again, you go as far as you feel comfortable. Tops of the feet come down to the earth. Hands come by your sides, fingers pointing towards the toes. Shoulders roll back and down the spine. Lifting the heart. Maybe you stay here or you lift the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades towards center. Maybe you point the toes, squeeze the inner thighs. Lift feet. Looking down at the earth. All right, a little challenge if you want. You can stay here. Or maybe you're gonna bring the arms out in front so that the arms come by the ears. Shoulders roll back and down the spine. So Superman, Superwoman. Let's find three more rounds of breath. Once those three rounds of breath are complete for you, lowering the feet, maybe use your hands as a pillow, bend the knees, windshield wiper the feet. Holy smokes, that's all the cards. <laughs> all right. Let's do some things that are going to help us relax. All right, so bringing both feet down towards the earth. And let's come into an opening for the shoulders. So you're only gonna go as far as you feel comfortable in this one, but then maybe even back out a little more. All right, so we're gonna bring the left arm out to the side. If you can bring it straight, that's great. If not, find cactus arms. You wanna make sure that uh, left arm is coming out straight from the shoulder. All right, we're going to turn our heads towards the right side, placing your head on the earth. Right hand comes underneath the right shoulder. You're going to go only as far as you want. So maybe you just slide that right knee up onto the earth. So it's kind of like you're cuddling the earth here. 
perhaps the right foot comes to the earth, right knee comes up towards the sky, rolling a little bit more onto that left shoulder. Maybe the right foot steps behind. Maybe that right arm reaches up and back behind you towards the low back or towards the other hand. Find the variation that feels good for you here. Soften and let go. Surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen, then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. One more round of breath here. And then you're slowly going to make your way out, bring the right hand back down to the earth. Slowly roll over onto the front body. Let's come over to the other side. Right arm comes long. Left hand to the earth. Find whichever variation feels best for you on this side. It might be different. If your head doesn't come all the way down to the earth, feel free to grab maybe a folded blanket to place underneath the head. One more round of breath. And then slowly making your way out. Find crocodile pose, hands come underneath the forehead, elbows out to the side, maybe tops of the feet come to the earth or maybe feet come wide, toes point out. Taking deep inhales, long, slow exhale. All right, gently making your way onto your back. We're gonna find a twist. If this variation of a twist doesn't feel right for you, please find your own. Uh, keeping with the theme of crossing the ankle over the knee, let's activate the right foot and cross the right ankle over the left thigh. All right, arms are gonna come out towards the sides, palms face up towards the sky. Perhaps you push the left foot into the earth, shift your hips over towards the right thigh, and then allow your knees or legs, excuse me, to drop over towards the left. That right foot might come down to the earth, it might not. Maybe you find a different variation of this twist. 
if it's in your body, left hand reaches down for that right ankle to gently pull it in a little bit closer to your waist. Soften here. If it's in your body, maybe you scooch that bottom foot up a little bit closer to your hips and then right hand comes down towards that bottom foot. Softening the hips once again. Relaxing your shoulders. Softening your face. Releasing any tension that you feel in your forehead, in your jaw. All right, one more round of breath here. Releasing your feet, if you have them, let's bring the legs back to center, both feet to the earth, reposition the back flat on the earth. Maybe you're following me, or maybe you find your variation of a twist on the other side. Left foot is active, crossing the left ankle over the right thigh. Push into the right foot to slide the hips to the left and allow the legs to drop to the right. So what variation feels good for you on this side? Maybe you find the ankle, the left ankle, maybe not. Maybe you find the bottom foot, maybe not. Releasing any tension that you feel here in your hips and in your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Last time I'll wait until we come into Shavasana. So right now, finding your breath, taking deep inhales, long, slow exhales. With every exhale, maybe you soften just a little bit more. Whenever you're ready, allowing your legs to come back to center and cross the legs. All right, and then find anything else your body needs. Maybe it's another uh, movement, shape in your body. It doesn't have to be yoga, it could be, I'd say socks normally, but today maybe a fan. <laughs> Whatever you need.
And once you are ready, there's no rush, but once you're ready, coming into Shavasana or any final resting shape here on the earth. Taking deep inhales in through your nose into your diaphragm, allowing your diaphragm to expand and long, slow exhales in. What's there? Is there anything you need to let go of? Anything you need to breathe out? Maybe you still need to make some noise or maybe not. So again, we don't want to push things away or, and ignore them. We want to acknowledge that they are there, work with them, move through them, and allow them to go at their own time. Softening your forehead. Softening around the eyes. Relaxing your jaw. Allowing your shoulders to sink down towards the earth. Allowing the arms and legs to release any tension. And with every exhale, maybe you soften and let go a little bit more. All right, our last card, surrender to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. So there is nothing you need to do. Nowhere you need to be. And nothing you need to change. Take this time to rest and replenish. and just surrender and let go.
notice if your mind starts to wander. Be kind and compassionate with yourself when it does. It's completely normal. And then just come back to the present moment. Come back to your breath. Continue taking deep inhales and long, slow exhales. And with every exhale, perhaps we let go just a little bit more. Letting go of the thoughts that don't serve you. Letting go of the need to control, even if it's just for the next couple minutes. Surrender to inner peace. Gently bringing your awareness back into your space. Noticing your body on the earth. Notice any sensations that you feel in your body. Maybe it's just even the air on your skin. Perhaps you start making some small movements in your body. Maybe those small movements become bigger movements. Mm -hmm. 
And in your own time, in your own way, rolling over to one side, whichever side is calling for you. Perhaps you take a moment here to find gratitude. Gratitude for something in your life. Maybe it's gratitude for taking this time today to take care of your body, your mind, and your heart. And whenever you're ready, making your way up to seated, and once you get there, lowering or closing your eyes. Taking deep inhales in through your nose, into your diaphragm. And long, slow exhales out. As you inhale, I invite you to inhale self-compassion. Remembering that the two most important things you did during our time here together were show up and breathe. Everything else was practice and exploration. May your day be filled with peace, love, and gratitude. Thank you for joining me. Have a beautiful day. I'll be here for the next 15 minutes if anybody